She's gaining weight. Hmm, she's pregnant, did they know? Ooh, I bet he's a pro-lifer. <gasps> Matt must wear dresses on his nights alone. Can we get a GoFundMe to have cute couples who do TikToks tortured and post those to TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> What's, What's up, up dudes? <laughs> Today we are reading hate comments with Abby's grandma. Give it up for Vicky. We had to bribe her with some coffee. Good old Carter's coffee we from love... Quincy, Illinois. Okay, mine is so good. About a couple weeks ago, when we announced the gender. Abby's parents kept sending Abby hate <laughs> comments. There was a comment that was like, oh, your son has a penis. And then they're like, walk oh, that person. Ridiculous. Why did you just say I don't know. In front of I'm your sorry. Son has a penis. Yes. They didn't know that already. <laughs> First hate comment. Something just tells me he is, and then they put the the little like nail emoji, the pink nail emoji. They're saying that Matt's gay. They're call they're calling really? me gay. Every time we do a dance video, especially with the ones where I do a dance for Abby as a joke. <laughs> You always get those comments. Just and because he can dance. I'll be honest, they do they do hurt a little bit just because I have a background in theater. I was the weird kid that like loved sports but also loved theater. And so I, I sometimes I didn't feel accepted by either group. I say you're a renaissance man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're, you've got both the right brain and the left brain. I personally would like to think that I'm a cultured man. I like I wouldn't go that far. Okay. <laughs> On the edges. There was one time where Vicky straight up said to me, you know what, Matt? You're a oh narcissist. Dear. Oh dear. And I said, Don't. now that wasn't nice to bring my bad comments up. <laughs> It was supposed to be other people's <laughs> bad comments. I was like, no, Grandma, you don't mean narcissistic. I think you mean, you... what's the word? No, I meant. Fun. It. And you said, no, you're, you're like, a no, narcissist. I meant that. Wearing this tight clothes isn't attractive. Doesn't matter how liberal clothing you do. I don't know what they <laughs> what they're trying to they do then, there. Grandma actually attacks me for tight jeans sometimes. <laughs> she, you probably agree with this either. person. <laughs> oh! <laughs> one time she said, she's like, your jeans look like they're painted on. Plot twist, your grandma's the one commenting on our videos. No, she, no. Would she would never. She would never. She would just say it to our face. I, I do, okay. I do a like button. Oh, no, because she you. doesn't have an account. Hey, speaking of the like button, hit the like button, you guys. It really means a lot to us. <laughs> yeah, I hit the like button. A lot. Yes. A lot. Is there anybody still watching this poop? <laughs> <laughs> So they're calling our content. They're, they're saying, is anyone still watching this? You know, I'm guessing they wonder, didn't say poop. Why did they even bother? That's what I wonder. Why did they even bother to say that? I don't why, know. Yeah, I why take the time out of your day? It. Yeah, they evidently They are. clearly are still watching <laughs> yeah. it. Am I the only one who finds Abby not attractive at all? Like, I'm almost convinced that Mark could have done so much better. <laughs> Hence proved love is blind. <laughs> What? First of all, I would like to know who Mark is. I have an uncle Mark, but I'm assuming they don't know who that is. Second of all, well, you're very attractive. They've got problems anyway, you know yeah. that. They can't get your name straight. I must not be looking at Abby very closely. That's what I'm saying. I agree. There we go, Grandma. That. This one says, I bet he feels so lucky to have a wife that records everything he does. He's probably pressured all the time to be the perfect husband since he's always on the internet and he doesn't want anyone getting pissed at him for not treating his wife right. Congratulations on the baby. <laughs> what type of comment is that? I think the funny thing is like, do people realize that if we make a video or record something and we just aren't comfortable with sharing it, like we just don't share it. If we're not having a good day, like we don't have to share about it if we don't want to. Well, Sometimes we do because we like to keep it real. We're not perfect people at all. Well, also like filming takes out like one hour a day out of 24 hours in our day. Yes. <laughs> this dude definitely does not wear the pants in this relationship. This guy is the biggest simp and pansy. He is everything that I hope my son does not not turn out like. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. That just shows they don't really it know really you. shows that. Do you hear that? That they was really wow. know you. They just they've just made a perception based That's on right. some videos. I was asking you who wears the pants in a relationship, and it was like a 30 second TikTok. It's so, actually a good question, Grandma. Who do you think wears the pants yeah, in a relationship? Yeah. Hey, who wears the you, pants? Well, I, you you work together really well. Oh, thanks. Thank I you. Think, but uh, I think Abby. <laughs> I think Matt wears the pants more so. Yeah, it, or it, in his I, case, the shorts. I personally. He wears the shorts. Isn't it funny that people can just come up with that 
after watching a 15 second video. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's real lucky. You spend most of your time making these videos. When you're not making videos, you're spending time thinking about what you're gonna do in your next video. Do you cook dinner? Do you clean the house? <laughs> Laundry? Go food shopping? Pay the bills? I had a dog that was blind, deaf, and missing a leg. His name was Lucky. <laughs> What's what in the do? world? I do get groceries, cook a lot of good I, meals. I would like some more of your recipes, as a matter of fact. That'd yeah, I gotta really send good. you that one recipe, quinoa. the quinoa bake. Mm -hmm. He's really feminine, this guy. Oh, oh. Grandma's gonna agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> That is some toxic masculinity right there, ladies and gentlemen. What do you have to say? that renaissance man coming out. <laughs> renaissance man. I have never heard. What is a renaissance man? He's like a man for all seasons. What, yeah. is that, what does that mean? If what is you, a man for all seasons? You, there's, there's a lot of things you do well. Oh, th well, thank you. So you're yeah, saying I'm multi-talented? Yeah. Thank you. I think, Matt, you are not, you're sensitive. Yeah, he is very I'm not, sensitive. Wait, I'm yeah. sensitive? Yeah. What do you, in what way? You're just, you're like thoughtful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Empathetic. I think spending 24 hours a day with you has made me very like gentle and like, oh, babe. Actually, we were like, talking about that the other day. Matt was like, let's go get a Starbucks. I need a latte. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, <laughs> he's like, man, I've changed. <laughs> Simpletons. Sim simpletons? Gra that one offended grandma. Grandma uses the word simpleton a lot. Yeah, I <laughs> I've heard you it's say it in my vocabulary. This one says he'll dump you in two years. Oh, my oh. God. that just shows how they don't really know you. That's right. <laughs> well, the other thing too is we've been together for like six years. We've already outlasted that one. <laughs> I swear, I used to think this couple is strong and loyal, but she cheats on him and he lets it go. <laughs> I can't imagine why somebody would say that. I mean, have any they think a lot or... of people, Grandma, a lot of people on TikTok think that I am not loyal to Matt. It says yeah. more about them than it does That's about right. you. They, they've got, they must have that in their background, and mm. I'm sorry for them, really. Giving when they say kid, things they like that. When Abby gets in awkward situations, sometimes she's just- Yeah, we just, need Grandma's input on she gets, this. Abby gets finessed, okay? And one time she got finessed so hard, she was at the club with some girlfriends <laughs> celebrating a girl's 21st birthday, and this guy asked her to dance. And Abby was like, yeah, I mean like- There's nothing, I can, wrong, with nothing wrong with dancing with, with, another with, guy. with another guy. She danced with this guy. You weren't this is what married we, then. We weren't, we weren't, we weren't married. We were dating. Now. And I then he asked for Abby's number, and Abby- you remember this? Abby yeah. was so nervous to tell him no. Abby's so naive, she's just like, maybe he just wants to be friends. It's like, Abby, if a guy asks for your number, he doesn't want to be I friends. Know, I knew he didn't want to be friends. Here's the thing, is that I was just like, it's gonna just be so much easier if I just save face, give him my number, never see this guy again, and never respond. And so this guy ends up texting Abby, he's like, hey, can I stay at your place tonight? He has to stay over. <laughs> and then I and then I texted this guy on my phone, like, hey, this is Abby's uh, boyfriend, Matt. No. Just letting him know to stay away. Because I've given my number to guys, I've even given my number to- To guys at the grocery store guy in Hawaii? Store. Really? <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> I never. <laughs> you just. Don't do Abby, I never Abby is too. Abby yeah. doesn't know how to stick up for herself in certain situations. I think that she just needs to say no. I'm married, yes. especially when she's you were married with the guy from the grocery I store. I never responded to the guy from the grocery store either, and it, there was never any intention to respond. So I roast Abby, yeah. right? I make a TikTok. I ask her like, "What would you do if a guy asked for your number?" And everyone's like, "She's cheating on you. She's I cheating came on you." And it's like right home and told Matt. She told I was like, she told me within a, like within guy, like two minutes. Keep in mind, this kid was in high school. Well, probably <laughs> like I just wanted to help protect his pride one comment said as soon as he starts balding she's gonna leave him <laughs> <laughs> Grandma thought that was funny. <laughs> I think that's funny somebody thinks that I would divorce right away oh when people bring up you divorce would. I'm like why would they you? said if that they were if married. they were married to me they would divorce me oh right my. away I don't have any idea what they're saying do I'm saying this one got 25 likes Matt must wear dresses on his nights alone <laughs> lol <laughs> I'm gonna leave. I'll see you guys. Just, Peace I'm out, dudes. <laughs> just joking. How old is she? 15? Oh. <laughs> Meaning you? Yeah. Wait, 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 lol. If your doctor is telling you you can drink coffee, maybe it's time to switch doctors. Did, did you, is there any truth to that? My doctor says I can have 200 milligrams of caffeine a day. 
two cups of coffee. I've been shocked actually at the amount of people that think that drinking coffee, it's funny we're drinking coffee right now, is bad for pregnancy. Because like, I I'm sure there might be here's certain Here's what I specific... say to that woman. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. No, here's the thing. Here's okay, let's cheers our coffees. Everyone <laughs> cheers. Okay, here, got here. I've got cheers. Decaf myself. Woo! <laughs> Grandma's got decaf. There's been a whole new string of comments, Grandma. Yeah. Ever since I got pregnant of people trying to be my yeah. doctor. Advice. Everyone yeah. thinks they're a doctor on social media. Yeah. Siblings, sweet home Alabama. Laughing face, laughing face. <laughs> if you're from Alabama. I'm sorry. That's I'm so sorry that, that people is, are disrespecting you in the comments. I agree. That is a slam to people from Alabama, isn't it? That's right. And I'm sure they're mostly really good people. She should never try to dance again. Some people have zero, and I mean zero talent when it comes to dancing. Bless your little heart. Oh, man. They evidently don't watch too many of your videos. Really. Yeah, Abby's a very talented dancer. Mm -hmm. I watched her dance from age three Aww. through high school. 18. Yeah. And you danced at the Muni. Yeah. That's right, Abby's Can't good. Too bad. Abby yes. made it into a professional she theater. She made the auditions of the Muni Theater. That's where we met. That is unbelievable. Look how perfect our relationship is. Guys, um, we are so far from perfect. I think when people get that impression, because we're posting maybe a lot of like happy, positive videos in a row, which like I like posting those because I want to make people happy and have positive thoughts and stuff, but I, I never want to give the false impression that we're perfect. Yeah, it's a fine um, balance because it's like, we yeah. don't want to just be out here just being like negative yeah. all the time. OMG, so mom actually said this video, he's hot as <gasps> He's good looking as S-H-I-T. You can't even follow that. How is that a hate comment? I don't know, I just thought it was, I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a flying F YouTube algorithm. Then we have, this guy looks genuinely scary, like a serial killer or something. Imagine waking up to that. Then, what? I'd like to see him. Oh man. This is a hot topic. It was the weirdest thing, you guys. We got an email from the from the White House. We oh. thought it was a joke. We literally thought it was a joke. We're like, there's no way the White House is like reaching out to us. But it was actually the White House. It was like, this is not fake, it's, it's real. It's almost a year ago. And we're like, we what the heck? We got to do an interview with Dr. Fauci. Yeah, basically just raising awareness about the vaccine. We weren't even telling people to go get vaccinated in the video. It was literally just an awareness raiser of us. We literally just asked him questions about we, the vaccine. And we made this TikTok and we got roasted in the we comments. Got roasted, we got roasted. We got roasted. Everyone, I don't know why the vaccine I hate became. To say this, guys. <laughs> so we, so we get right. I'm twerp on TV one more time. I'm gonna throw my shoes. <laughs> Okay. I told you. Let I'd me get just political. say, and that's the thing. We don't know why this thing got political, but people were, were people were pissed. And one of the comments we got was really disappointed. Y'all are getting into this. I liked how you y'all were unbiased and didn't bring politics into your videos. But the thing is, like, I don't know how a backseat became political. It wasn't and, your fault, but it did. And it was like, so we were we were just here, like, just hey, Dr. Fauci, we're gonna ask you some questions. Okay, and Grandma, we, you got vaccinated. I did, and I got boosted too. <laughs> Yeah, we've all been vaccinated in this car, but like we just wanted to raise awareness and people were really mad Like some people were actually like really what did mad. you think grandma? Is they, they're mad because because we not, talked to dr. Fauci We just had a five-minute interview and then people were like they totally got paid for this and I'm like no, we, we did not, not get, get paid. paid for this like we just wanted to do it They're like you guys are a sellout. You guys just do anything for money now. <laughs> no, and it was literally free just when you thought Social media couldn't ruin relationships enough. Now there's these stupid TikTok videos of people thinking it's okay and funny to mess with their spouse doing SHIT like this. <gasps> Bet most couldn't spend a whole day with each other and without their phones, which is sad. Um, I don't even, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know I'm, what to I, say. I'm, I'm being <laughs> a terrible <laughs> person because I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say. I don't even know how to respond to that. You should cheat on her. She cheats on you all the time. LMAO. <laughs> That I gotta stop cheating on you, Matt. <laughs> this one says, men, don't get married. It's a setup and it will cost you dearly. <laughs> It TikTok. will cost you. It will oh cost gosh, you it already has. About it. It's <laughs> an investment. TikTok brings us so much important content these days. Thanks, China, for your gift to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't China own TikTok? Prediction. Abby will cheat on Matt in the future. <laughs> oh my word. Let's be honest. They probably both cheat. <laughs> What the heck? Ooh, those people, they must have a lot of cheating in their background. I feel sorry for them. Can we get a GoFundMe to have cute couples who do TikToks tortured and post those to TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Where do people come up with this stuff? I can't, I can't. Well, okay, I also want to say that there were several videos when Matt was like, can you go try to find some videos? And so I went to find some videos I knew that had mean comments, and I saw that my husband had disabled comments <laughs> on them. 
to protect me. Hey, yeah, give it up for me. Yeah. yeah. I'm a narcissist. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> she's gaining weight. Hmm, she's pregnant. Did they know? <laughs> I don't it's, know. It's like acceptable it's to like, gain weight uh, when you're pregnant. If you don't, there's something wrong. If you're not gaining weight and you're pregnant, like that's, that's not good. That's serious. That's not that's good. Yeah, you want to be you want to be gaining weight. You want your baby to grow, but it, yeah. for some reason it just hit me at the right time, <laughs> and I was like, I, I am. <laughs> Is this a girl that always getting other guys' numbers and dancing with other guys at the club? Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's, that's me. her. <laughs> that's Abby. Lucy Goosey. <laughs> <laughs> don't call me Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Another common comment that I've gotten grandma that was I never thought about this until I did social media people were like her voice is so annoying no. They're like she I can't Aww. she sounds like a six-year-old it's music to me I think <laughs> your voice is so sweet I actually that was one of the things when I started like dating you initially I was like you have a really cute voice Thank you people are like does she think she's talking to preschoolers? I can remember holding you as a baby wondering what you would be like what your voice would sound like. Aww. And if I when I hear it, it's music it to makes her me ears. sparkle. Legend has it Matt doesn't own a shirt. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's kinda of funny. That's not That's a hate comment. True. There are countless family photos of Matt back when he was like in fourth grade. His whole family in Christmas sweaters. Like yeah. so you know it's like cold out. Yeah. And yeah. he's shirtless, just <laughs> running around. Ooh, I bet he's a pro lifer. <gasps> yeah, you are. Yes yeah. I am. <laughs> Why is that disgusting? That's like, a, that's a good thing. What's disgusting is the killing of baby. I've noticed <coughs> because of your app that you have where it tells, you know, shows what the baby looks oh, like. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, they, they look so human, so young. You wanna see the baby? Yeah. They look so human, so Yeah, young. where's the baby at right now? And people just try to say that's just a mass. That's nothing. No. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Show the camera. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. He's gotten so big. <laughs> this this is a comment. This is literally the top comment on our most recent YouTube video. And it says, I'm so happy I found you guys. Your channel has brought so much light and positivity Aww. into my life. And it makes me want to be a better person. Thank you endlessly. Wow. Thank you. That's Thank so you guys. Sweet. I mean, you guys have brought a lot of light and positivity into our life too. There's so much like love and support for us. Literally, Grandma, get this. When our flights were all stopped up in Charlotte, we had so many dams where they're like, I will seriously come pick you up and oh you can stay goodness. in my guest room. Yep. Like they're like, I'll help you out. I know people have been oh, like, there's so many nice people. So, so many nice people. Many. So, so and many. And so like there's so many people that will literally just like want drop to everything. just drop everything to just help us out. It's so encouraging and ultimately like these negative comments, they don't deserve any light. But it's just a fun video. Just it's lighthearted and just know that we don't focus on that stuff yeah. at all. There are so many nice comments. We had to spend hours finding all we, these it, negative comments. We had to comments. search for the it negative. It took a while. So, and like, we never want to do that ever again, by the way. I don't yeah. want to search for the negative. I don't like, I don't like doing that. This was a fun video to make, but I don't really want to like focus on the negative. Every once in a while, it can make me cry. Mm -hmm. I will admit, but that's only probably because I don't know. I'm only yeah. human. If you haven't hit the like button, hit subscribe. Do that right now. It really means a lot to us. And thank you to Grandma. Yeah, thank you, Grandma. Woo. Peace, Peace out, out, dudes. <laughs>